vlog. I'm starting this vlog randomly like midday because I just got my order from Princess Polly in the mail. I got a bunch of cool new spring items and I wanted to do a little bit of a haul. This is sponsored, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video, but you guys already know I love Princess Polly and I always feature hauls whether it's sponsored or not. It's just extra special when it is because I can give you guys a coupon code. So you can use code Marcella20 to get 20% off of your entire order. And they have a bunch of new cute spring items. So let me just show you everything that I picked out. They do ship from within the US, so there's free express shipping on orders over $50. And they do offer shop pay and after pay to all US customers as well. So the first thing that I got is the tank top that I'm wearing right now. It is a beautiful orange and pink color block tank top. Very fun for spring. I really went for the fun colors in this haul. And this is really cute on its own and even under a jacket. A nice daytime tank top. Next thing that I got is another tank top. And this one's really cool because it has no back. I have this in a ton of colors. I really just want to go get it in like the pink, the blue, the purple, like all the pastel colors. Super, super cute. This is just a gorgeous top and I'm planning to go to Europe. I haven't talked about that, but I'm going to Europe this summer. I can definitely see myself wearing this. This is another top. This is like a corset, beautiful top. I have this already in um, this fabric as well, which I absolutely adore. So it's the more floral one. It is just so flattering. Kind of went top heavy in this haul because I feel like for the spring, I have like my set pieces of bottoms and I usually stick to jeans in the spring because it's pretty cold still. And I like to differentiate with a bunch of different tops, especially because I can wear them under jackets. Got this off the shoulder top and I feel like this one can be dressed down with some jeans like this. Or if you wear it with a cute skirt and you know, some nicer jeans, you can wear it out as well because it is a little sparkly and I love it. This is the perfect spring dress. The fabric is so nice and light. And this actually cinches right here, so it's super flattering and very comfortable. I really want to wear this to like a nice Pinteresty picnic. You know the ones where they have like the cake and they scoop it with the wine glass? That's the kind of vibes I'm manifesting for this dress. But it's really just like the most perfect daytime spring dress. I also got this top and these pants. First off, for the top, it's like off the shoulder. This is a pretty simple top on its own, but it being off the shoulder really adds something interesting to it. And it's still very comfortable, still very chill, but a little extra. And then these pants, they're like flare pants. They are pretty wide legged. They're pretty light. I love that they're tight here and then they flare out. I just realized I think it would be cute with this top as well because it kind of has some orange tones in it. So can be dressed up for like a nighttime look, but also dressed down for a daytime look. This one's a little bit out there. I just love the fabric though. It is really cute. You can wear it to maybe even a festival. You can wear it on vacation. You can even wear it day to day. This together is not necessarily a day to day outfit for me. It can totally be for somebody else. I just like don't feel as comfortable walking around in this. I actually got this because I love the pattern of the pants so much. And I think it'd be really cute with any of the tops I just showed you guys, like the orange one or even the pink bustier top would be really cute on this and I mean it's just such a cute set. Also the top can be configured in many ways. I barely did this one but the models on the website had it a few different ways. Last thing that I got is this really oversized sweatshirt. It's just huge and oversized. I still work from home. This is still great for every day and just so cozy. The inside is so soft. That's it for the little haul. I'm so excited for spring and I love colorful spring fashion. Like I said, you can use code Marcella20 for 20% off of your order. Let me know what you guys think, which outfit or piece was your favorite. And I'm gonna just keep working for the rest of the day and I'll catch you guys later. I am doing a little bit of a productivity experiment and I figured I should record it and see how it goes. I have a lot of things to do today. There's many things going on. I have work, I need to edit a video. And then on top of that, I need to clean my apartment because I have a friend coming into town tomorrow and she's staying with me and we're going to do a Lipa concert, yay. But anyway, I wrote down everything I need to do and I was trying to figure out the best way to tackle this. A little bit of a side story, but I've been having like daily migraines and like terrible upper back discomfort. It's not really pain. And I was reading some articles. It said that you should get 15 minutes of activity for every 45 minutes of sitting down at a desk. That kind of came to mind back to when I was reflecting of how to handle all my tasks today because I have a lot of sitting down work to do at my computer and then I have a lot of chores to do that are, you know require moving around and stuff. So I was like, why don't I just marry those two concepts and do 45 minutes of focused work followed by 15 minutes of chores or like moving around activity. I said that this is the best way to procrastinate productively. I'm like, okay, let's see how it goes. That's a TLDR of what I'm gonna do today, track all the things that I'm doing and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
breakfast leftovers from dinner last night. We went to this place called Frito Misto in Santa Monica. If you're in the LA area, you need to go. These are stuffed pillows. It's stuffed with ricotta and basil. And then on top is a creamy pesto, the yummiest creamy pesto sauce I've ever had. And then I put some chicken in it too, and it's so, so good. Fun fact about me is that I like eating my leftovers cold. Comment the little race car emoji if you watch F1, because the first race of the season was this past weekend. Can't believe Red Bull got DQ'd in the last lap. And I can't believe that McLaren, my boy Lando, is in like 18th or something like that. If you don't watch Formula One, you should watch Formula One Drive to Survive on Netflix to get caught up and then you can start watching the races. I actually read some crazy Twitter thread about how impactful Formula One Drive to Survive has been in increasing Formula One viewership in the US. Anyway, I'm gonna finish lunch and I'm probably gonna go for a walk. I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back A couple of styles We should throw them out Because um, this should be really quick. I saw but you fell me up And I could feel it now Number two, we're gonna switch the laundry and I wanna go get my packages because I have a few downstairs. Wow. Let's go get our packages. packages. I'm gonna unbox some of these with you guys because I have, I think, a spare five minutes. A few things from Magic Linen. They are a Lithuanian-based company. Got this peach linen tablecloth. They just released this color. It's just so beautiful, and it goes really well in my apartment. I also got the matching tea towels, and I'm super excited for this waffle robe. Oh, this is great. This is so beautiful. Definitely check them out. These items just feel so high quality and classic, so thank you to them for sending these to me. My Ikea order, there are those guys, but I got two more. If you're surprised where this came from, this used to be in my closet next to my wash or dryer but i put it out here because i needed some extra storage Ta-da! just another basket oh you know what i feel like they're the same but they're not the exact same i guess they don't look too different this next package is from caraway they make these beautiful beautiful pans they're also toxin free you guys Look how beautiful it is. The saute pan, a little fry pan, Dutch oven, and a sauce pan. They're also insanely non-stick, but we'll test it out when we make dinner tonight. I've been wanting these for so long. Every time I see Michelle Choi cook with them, I'm always so jealous. So I'm so excited to finally have my own. I think she has this color too. Okay, I need to get to work now. I'm definitely over my break time limit, but I needed to open these. I've been waiting for so long. I just want to live my best Living Alone Diaries, Michelle Choi Life. Okay, so don't judge me. Okay, back to work.
I worked until around five and then I just went to the gym. I need to clean up my apartment. I'm gonna dedicate actually more time than just the 15 minutes to cleaning up because it's a hot mess. I don't even wanna show you guys how many things I need to take to the trash room and how much things I need to clean up. Um, so yeah, I need to get to it. Also, these pans were such a, like literally I just used this to make this and you couldn't even tell because I could wipe it all away. All right, so let's reflect a little bit on how our productivity experiment went. I tracked essentially everything I did yesterday. I started this experiment at 11.30 a.m. and stopped tracking the time that I was doing at 6.30. It's about seven hours and out of that seven hours, I spent four hours working I spent an hour and 48 minutes taking a break and that's including my lunch. And then I did spend one hour at the gym. Ooh, the lighting. We're gonna push through this because it's a little cloudy in LA, so. But reflecting on the actual experiment, I had like the most productive day I've had in a while. When I would start doing things on break, they would kind of expand and I kind of just wanted to finish it. I could have just stopped at 15 and then gone back to work, but I had a pretty long to-do list, so I just wanted to get the task done with. That's kind of on my shoulders. I didn't follow it strictly, but I think on a day-to-day -day when I don't have as many overwhelming items, this would be actually a really good way of working. I felt super productive and relaxed. Usually during the workday, I get a little stressed thinking about all the things I need to do after work. So I think this was a good way of balancing that. I did feel more energetic and less sluggish, like having that break and moving around every so often. So that was a big plus. I think the 45 minute window for work was perfect. Going forward, I think I may stick to a 45 minute work period and then a 10 minute break period. You can obviously play around with the timing though, even like a 30 minute work, five minute break or 30 minute work, 10 minute break, really whatever works for you. The other component here is having a constrained time period makes you focus on the important things and get the stuff done. Whereas if you have all day to do like your three tasks, maybe procrastinating is more attractive. You have that sense of like, oh, I have all day. So you can, you feel like you've got time. You feel like you can push things off a little. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty successful experience Experiment. Definitely give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah